story about a jailhouse romance that ended in death. A veteran corrections officer apparently fell in love with an inmate and helped him escape with her so that the two of them could run off together. It happened at the Lauderdale County Jail in Alabama. Authorities say the 38-year-old inmate, Casey White, who was awaiting trial on murder, struck up a relationship with 56-year-old Vicki White, no relation. She was the assistant director of corrections at the jail where he was incarcerated. Her co-workers described her as an exemplary employee, but authorities say she planned how to get Casey out for a while. She even sold her home and announced her retirement beforehand. Then on April 29th, authorities say Vicki picked up Casey from the jail for what she said was a mental health evaluation, which authorities later learned was never even scheduled. The two of them fled in her patrol car. Vicki had spent the night before in a motel near the jail. Authorities say she'd bought men's clothing from a department store beforehand so that Casey would have something to change into. After they left the jail, the two of them ditched her patrol car in a parking lot where cops later found her jail keys, a radio, and handcuffs. Then they went on the run for 11 days. On May 3rd, somebody phoned in a tip. The manager of a car wash in Evansville, Indiana, had spotted Casey on surveillance video, and he immediately called federal authorities. U.S. Marshal Service called me. They sent me a text message called from Alabama, and they said, I heard you got a truck told. I said, I did. I said, that's that guy from Alabama. He said, yes, it is. So he said, I got U.S. Marshals coming to you even as I speak. Cops located the pair pretty quickly and saw Vicki walking out of a motel with a wig on. Then they chased the pair down. The pursuit ended with the police crashing into their getaway car. They were able to pull Casey out of the wreckage, but they say Vicki was critically hurt. She had shot herself in the head. She later died at the hospital. As for Casey, soon he'll be on his way back to Alabama. He was already serving a 75-year sentence for attempted murder and awaiting trial for a stabbing. If convicted, he could face the death penalty. And the sheriff says he'll now be in solitary confinement. He will stay in handcuffs and shackles while he's in that cell. If he wants to sue me for violating his civil rights, so be it. He's not getting out of this jail again. Vicky's co-workers say they're stunned by what happened. One of them says uh, he doesn't think he will ever understand what would provoke her to pull a stunt like this. We'll send it back to you.